Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I'm a technical solutions architect and I would like to introduce you to my home setup. So the goal of this presentation will be to show you how additional elements can improve our video endpoints even further. So to make sure that the other side of a call does get the best possible experience. Um, the target of this video the target audience of this video would be anybody with an existing Cisco video endpoint or would like to get one of those and would like to improve the experience for the other side even further. So um, let me show you the various components I have here available. I have a WebEx room kit here at home. I have it mounted on top of my screen. Um, the Room kit has a built-in camera, it has built-in microphones um, for this setup for recording videos and to do presentations. I decided to improve the audio for the other party with this USB microphone. So this USB microphone um, is connected here into the room kit with USB-A. The room kit has a USB-A connection available still. Um, the only thing I have to keep in mind is in the settings of my device, I have to go ahead and go to the general settings, USB mode. This is where the device connects to. I uh, have to set it to microphone. Otherwise, when I have it set to speaker or speaker and microphone, I would not hear the audio coming out of the built-in speakers up here. I can, in this case, connect uh, headphones to this microphone, so I can also, like, could use it as my audio out. But in this case, I have it set as microphone, so I can use this microphone here. Okay, so this would be the audio, which I now mentioned how I slightly improve it, because the built-in microphones are quite good already. Then the next point would be the camera. So we have a built-in camera which is currently used for this call. So this is what, you, what the other party experiences in this call. I can slightly improve it by using an external camera. I go ahead on the touch panel and choose the external camera. You'll see um, a slight difference. So it's using a Sony ZV-1 camera I have connected and um, with the external camera, I can actually also go ahead and add like logos here. You see it in the picture to the image I sent into the call. So in order to do these tricks with the overlay in the video, I have a video switch I'm using. That's the Atom Mini over here, which I'm using for this case. So I have uh, background images. Uh, in the uh, background images uh, added to the device and they can be, for example, a WebEx logo. Let's switch back to the original camera of the device. So that will be this one here. So I have now chosen to uh, use the camera of the device itself. Then um, if I would like to uh, play a little bit with the endpoint itself, I can, for example, go ahead and use the um, compositor, meaning that in the video stream directly, so this has not directly to do with the, with the video switch over here, I can go ahead and choose the camera I'm using, um, which I do with uh, um, via the Touch 10. So I can jump from camera one, which is the main camera we're seeing here, to camera two, which is the one over here. Then I go back to camera one. I can, if I would like to show, for example, a presentation uh, and myself next to each other in the video stream, then I can do this as well. So if I would like to show the original camera picture and the presentation uh, in the video stream, Together, I can do this as well. So now the other party sees the presentation and the person speaking 
in the video stream directly. So this is what I can uh, do here. I can also um, swap that, of course, if I don't like the setup, like have it the other way around. Or what I can also do, I can do a picture in picture. So um, I would like to be the the larger part of the present day, uh, of the picture, or I can swap it and I become the smaller part uh, of the presentation. I can and can talk through the presentation using the video channel directly. So this setup uh, is actually quite good if you would like to use also the whole, um, would like to provide the whole information in the video channel directly. So if you do uh, live streaming and you don't have content and video at the same time. So this is what you can easily use then. So let's move back to the um, original setup here for the video channel. And then we will go ahead and share the content in the call. So what I'll do, um, it will set up here. There we go. <clears throat> so um, I can then go ahead and use my iPad for the presentation. I use PowerPoint, for example, here. I can mark what uh, I would like to point out or what I'm actually talking about in the presentation. I can um, just simply draw on it. I can go to the next slide and do the same. Point out uh, that we're talking about analytics now here or that uh, a certain diagram uh, should be in focus. Next thing I'll do is I talk about troubleshooting, for example. So I say like, okay, this is like meetings, troubleshooting, and uh, these are the calls going on. And then as a next point, I would like to do a demo. So one of the cool features with the video feature, um, one of the cool features with this video switcher actually is I can uh, use a chroma key. I can define a chroma key. I can then go ahead and add a green slide or whatever color I choose to do uh, in the presentation. I move to this green slide in the presentation and then I have the laptop shown so I can do a live presentation directly. So I don't have to switch anything from like cables or go from uh, push a button or whatever. I can just go ahead and move to this green slide and then to the next uh, slide and back. And I'm uh, in a presentation mode where I can actually show what's going on with these devices I have connected, for example, to the control hub. And again, maybe I'll just uh, show in the camera here. I have here a simple green slide showing I can go back and forth and as soon as the green slide comes up, I can start uh, presenting via the laptop. I can also, of course, then draw into the slide. I will show here as well. The disadvantage is that I don't really know what I'm drawing. So I can draw a, a sun. That's really nice and easy. And at the same time, I can uh, go um, back and forth here and use this as my um, demo. But um, the slight disadvantage is that I don't really see what I'm drawing here. So this was it about the um, direct advantages I have uh, using presentation. What I have on top of this is the possibility to actually, to actually do a recording or record stuff with this Atom Mini. So I have on one end the network-based recording I use in the WebEx cloud. On the other hand, I have a, a little bit, a little disk connected in the back here. So I can go ahead and um, record whatever I do locally here. So this allows me to have uh, uh, the recording as soon as possible and to have a defined quality. How am I doing this? What is uh, important to know to, to get this set up? So I have again here my endpoint. I have the audio settings and then as the output, I use the line out of this device 
and have the output type set to recorder. I have the audio cable coming into my Atom Mini. So I get all the audio when it is set to recorder, the local audio and the remote audio recorded on the device. And what I do on top of this is I have my video settings, that's all set to um, single monitor. So I, even though it has two uh, outputs, two HDMI outs, I um, set the monitor set up to single and then the outputs I set monitor roll first here and the second connect to monitor roll first as well. And what it does, it basically just mirrors whatever I have on the first screen to the second screen and uh, then records, I can feed this into the at the mini as well. So whatever shows on the video endpoint is also recorded on the Atom Mini here. So this allows to record sessions quickly. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped. And if there is any questions, please let me know. I'm happily uh, helping you to, I'm happily answering questions. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.